projects are like icebergs. The main part of it's hidden. When you finally get out of the ground, like what we are here, it's like the top of the iceberg. And that's where we are now. We're building the project. Uh, we have many of the columns in place at this point, and we're going to be starting putting down the uh, the long beams and the uh, the decking. And it's going to start looking more and more like a bridge. To minimize environmental impact or for other structural reasons, um, the Port Authority and working with the developer uh, came up with a substructure uh, foundation method here that is drilled shafts. Shafts are drilled into the ground or vibrated into the ground and then they are the, the, the spoils are taken out of the center of the shaft with augers and the like. And then rebar cage is lowered in, concrete is poured, that forms the foundation. Be, depending on where it is along the alignment, it could be 45 to 65 feet in the ground. Um, on top of that then, uh, columns are poured in place and they're reinforced concrete also. So formwork is put in place, rebar is put in, then concrete is poured, then the rebar is taken out and that forms the column. The column goes up uh, to where the cap goes across two adjacent columns and then long beams are placed on the cap and the decks are placed on the beams. One of the beauties of the, our chosen way of replacing this bridge is that's being built adjacent to the operating bridge. And so there is very little interface between the two until the time of cutover. Cutover is intended to be done in a matter of a day or two, but traffic will be flown the entire time. And so basically, uh, the, the bridge and the cutover to the new bridge and its impact to the surrounding region is going to be absolutely minimal.